what's going on everybody this is patrick mid 10 outdoors come back we're on the road doing the tune-up camp out i've been telling you about we're headed to egger evans state park stay tuned Okay guys, I normally don't do this, but I'm doing this. Um, headed to the park right now, but I hadn't had anything to eat since breakfast this morning and it's really kicking in. But I just stopped at this place called Big Rock Market. And they had homemade brisket sandwiches. Look at that, look at that. Oh, I'm in heaven. When she said brisket and sandwich in the same sentence, I said, yes, please. All right, guys, I'm going to swallow a little bit of food. We're going to get on over to, actually, it's just right over there. So we're like there. We are there, just not in there yet. So we're going to, I'm going to eat a couple bites of this. We're going to go ahead and get to the campsite and we'll pick up from there, guys. But remember that next time you're this way, Big Rock Store. If you're dying for something to eat, I'm fixing the channel into this. And we'll see how it is. And I'll let you know when I get to the campground. Okay, guys. I was going to give you an update on that brisket sandwich. Oh, it was good. It was awesome. Two thumbs up. But uh, I'm at my campsite now. As you'll see there's nothing set up yet. Uh, I'm going to do the kitchen over here. Tent right here. This is the one that I did a few years back or a couple years back. I'll leave, I'll leave a card up there. You can watch that video. I'm not going to do a grand tour of the camp this time because I've got a bunch of stuff I want to work on a few other things to do bathroom is right there uh, fire pit is on the side of a hill don't know if I use it or not got wood we'll see um, it's right right now it's not that bad uh, according to my watch it is 48 degrees doesn't feel like it, it feels a little warmer than that Got some decent tree canopy, so that'll help keep the frost down and the cold down. I don't see any dead fall as far as looking up at the trees, but uh, anyway, with a little YouTube magic, we'll be back to the campsite as far as set up. camp set up you can see I'm actually started some water for coffee um, something new we'll talk about that in another video but uh, right now I'm just gonna fix me a cup of coffee and sit down still not very cold out I and mean, it's 54 but the wind staying down it keep having a couple gusts here and there but nothing major so anyways let me show you what I have to look at. There's the marina down there. Through there, you can see the lake. There's our bathhouse. But pretty place, pretty place. Awesome place to wake up to in the morning. 
so like I said just tune up just get ready for May 13th through the 15th Cumberland Mountain State Park so we'll talk to you in a little bit all right what's going on everybody we're back sun's going down over there got about uh, we got about an hour left goes down to 7 11 so yeah it's about an hour six now we just heard a barred owl um hooting out we're gonna try to see if i can hear him again and he was loud anyway it's getting a little cool don't know if I'm gonna do a fire or not this whole way this is laid out is kind of crazy but I'm gonna cook cook <laughs> and I'm gonna cook some beef stew finish off this last little bit of coffee for the day yeah I'm one of those who can drink coffee late in the afternoon and it doesn't bother me a bit but uh, I'm the third, yeah, there's a level there and there's another level up there. So I'm the third level down here. I don't know if I can, you can see it or not. Basically, there's a, whoop, there's a level right there. And if you look right up through there, there's another level of campsites. And then I'll walk you over here. And... There's a level down there of campsites. Right, nope, let me go to a point. Right down there, so. It's pretty wild how they do these campsites. I'm glad I didn't get that sucker because you had to fall down the hill to fall down the hill to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. So. I'm going to probably flip on some more music for a little bit. A little light listening for my own pleasure. It's getting a little chilly right now, but that's all right. Like I said, I got beef stew to eat for tonight. I'm not making it here, so I'm not going to be a cook in the mid -ten outdoors again until probably May. And we'll do some stuff then. Although I may do one in the morning. With what I'm going to have. So, we'll see. But, uh, I needed this. This is great. I'm probably going to set it up to where I can... Oh, I'm trying to move you where it'll stay. There we go. Probably going to set it up to where I can make my coffee in the morning in the tent. With the heater. It's supposed to get down to 32 tonight. Uh, right now it's still 54 degrees. So it's not freezing cold, but it's chilly. That's for sure. It's chilly. And there's frost advisory for tonight. So. That ought to tell you something. So I'm going to finish drinking this. Um. Let me show you. One of the things I did for this one, I brought that insulated water jug this time. That one, uh, full of water from home. If I do water for dishes, which I won't have, but maybe I'll probably eat out of the same pan I cook in. Spigots right there. I don't mind using their water to do dishes in at all. Um, rather have my own drinking water from my own house. I've drank park water before and it doesn't bother me that's just like coffee doesn't bother me like it does some people some people it goes right through them literally not that big of a deal for me so anyway I'm gonna hush right now um, play some music quietly for myself and uh, yeah I'm gonna fix some supper all right, guys. I'm back. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Having my coffee in the tent, as you'll see. Right there. Got the lake real quick. Mm -hmm. 
So, sun's coming up over there. I can already feel the, well, I can feel the heat from the heater. <laughs> I got the heat on. But uh, I'm going to sip on this coffee a little bit. Then I'm going to get out and uh, well, get dressed and get out and do breakfast. Then we got to tear everything down and head home. It's all fun and games. But slept really good last night. Um, I didn't run the heater all night. I just ran it when I had, when I got up. I'd run it for a little bit and I'd turn it off. That was about it. So, anyway. Alright, I'll bring back when I uh, can function 100%. I'm not functioning. That's some coffee first. Alright guys, what's going on? We've already had uh, breakfast. I had uh, spam and eggs with cheese. Had a little bit of bacon. And uh, still sipping on some coffee. Just got through with the dishes. I'm letting the dishes dry a little bit. Got a little bit of a breeze blowing from that. Nope, nope, wait. It's coming from that way. Anyway, coming down off that hill right there, I guess. The sun's already warming things up, though. It's 46, no, 40, 40, 43 degrees. It was 36 when I got up, so it's come up a little bit. Uh, it's supposed to be up to 70 today, so I'm sure I'll be shredding the jacket and that kind of stuff. But all I got left to do is finish cleaning up the dishes, tear down the tent, all the stuff inside, put it up, and... That's it until May. But it's been a pretty weekend. It was chilly last night, but the fan and heater thing worked out great. Um, I've decided I want to get me a like a five pound resillable refillable or a ten pound refillable um, propane tank. And we're going to invest in some hoses and stuff for stoves. Um, I will bring this into the review of this, the uh, Ozark Trails two burner stove later. Down the road you'll hear more about that. I just picked that up on a whim. Uh, kind of be easier when it comes to me and Chloe camping that I use a two burner and save my one burner for when I'm by myself but I wanted to use it this weekend see how it did and it did pretty good um, I think I finally polished off a couple of bottles of fuel though that I had that were you know on the cusp so anyways uh, ready for May Ready for spring, ready for summer, ready for a lot more camping. Hope to do another trip before the big trip. I don't know. We'll see. We may definitely get out. So I, uh, I'll definitely get out some more and do some more things. This is a pretty place. I'll throw a picture I took yesterday looking down the hill at all the campsites. And my wife made a joke of. Looks like you're camping in Gatlinburg because it's such a big hill. And what's crazy is I got to turn back out and go back up this thing. May make some noise. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed the overnighter. I did a lot of uh, this right here. Did a lot of this right here in the tent last night beside the uh, Mr. Buddy Heater. That bad boy. I, that was worth the investment. Already been worth the investment in two trips. So, for now, we will see you later. See you on the next one. Be prepared.